last episode, Victor and Mark sailed the boat from Vanuatu to Mackay in Australia. They had challenging conditions. Sometimes there was a really strong wind and sometimes there was hardly any wind and also the directions changed, so it kept them busy for a while. I was so worried from home. Let them go over the ocean alone. I saw in the beginning that they were going in 11 and a half knots on average. Then I know the sea state will be rough. Well, it's a beautiful night, a clear sky. That was very nice. The watches, boat is fine, no problem at all. Look at this, those wind shifts are incredible. Cut zero, cut G, cut zero, cut G, nice. our next waypoint as well. We were hoping that the current would set in because that would help. Almost there. 16 miles to go so we will have built for 1150 miles. Fives in one picture. 55. It's a new Tamir 55. It right? <laughs> so it's the sister ship of, of, that one, of Great Circle. Yeah. A bit different, right? <laughs> but you really like it, or? And you told me it's really fast. It very, yeah, it performed very well. No, it's a very nice boat. It was a uh, um, very famous boat for blue water cruising because it's strong, it's tight. And uh, yeah, it worked very well. It's the same as Voyage of the Zephyr, or? Yeah. The one that we saw in Fangarai. Same boat. So this one is she's, uh, from 2008, so 15 years old. Old yeah. lady. She still looks very good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a look at the travel lift where we go out tomorrow. Well, if it can lift that, then we should be fine. It's very nice to be here. And the captain. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so there's McKay Marine. They're going to change the engine of the tender. And Rich's Marine is going to do the anti -file. is back that you have to pass between orange boys instead of well red uh, and green. i can show you i can show you <laughs> incredible still that we didn't hit the breakwater i'm so glad to be back on great circle and to be able to continue the trip so during the night blue way arrives and we are trying to shine a light on the breakwater to warn him. Can you go on that side and give me some instructions there? Instructions? 
Information. Information. You can't give the captain instructions. <laughs> You're the captain, darling. He just changed places. Victor, Victor did something really brave and uh, I was too late to catch it on camera. So we're bringing him to the travel lift or her. They pointed out yellow is danger so I shouldn't have gone in there. Look how tight it is. Well, well let's not think about it anymore. So, the bottom is going to be black again, finally, as it should, huh? back down because we can't go further up because then the lift touches the forestay so we are going to turn the boat around and do it backwards. Langzaam inderdaad dat we maar gewoon tegenaan leunen tegen die paal dadelijk ook. We'll try backwards. New ride, right, Jim. It's the wind for drive. Next time you see this AST tender, it's going to look uh, completely different. We'll watch for the upgrade. Ja? En aan de andere kant de boot een beetje beschadigd. En de fouling is een beetje aan het eind, maar het is nog pretty clean. Where did I go in the water? These guys do a very good job in supporting the boat in all kinds of different places. So when we are not completely sure about the blocks in the back, they support it extra in the middle so that the boat is safe. So we 
won't be thirsty. Huh? Much better already in black. All the gray is gone. So there's a primer layer underneath, and this is the first coating of black. And tomorrow they'll do the second one. Malaga is the next one to arrive. Uh, most of them will arrive today. Well, that is kind of a problem. These guys are polishing great circle and then make it beautiful and shiny again. It is as if the boat is completely new again. Shiny, shiny. I still have a lot to go. There are some other boats coming out of the water for new anti-fouling. It's Fou de Bassin, it's Inky Blue, two canoes. Cloudy day. That promises to be bright sunshine during the days of the show. That's going to be over here. On the mega berth, as they call it. Getting ready your Inky, they're the next one to come out. This one fits. fits. Very good. So two canoes will fit as well. So here in Magai we have an upgrade of the dinghy. Ours was one of the first AST tenders and in the meantime there are a lot of improvements on this dinghy. There it goes. Good. 
neighbors from hell. No! They are still putting the primer on first before it uh, gets as black as the rest. So the idea was to get in. Now the tide is high, so there are no particles above the waterline. The other end we want, of course, to let the last pieces of anti-fouling dry as much as possible. So we have to go somewhere in between. Watch out for dead barnacles. Morning. This is the day before the show. Atlas and Nino coming over here as well. Oh, that's the first one already. And while Nino is arriving, Loli is getting out of the water. They tell us that it's the last option, for, at least for catamarans, to get out of the water before Mauritius. And after that, it's Caribbean, with a decent travel lift, that is. Well, I have to take the line now. Hopefully we don't need to go out of the water in the meantime. At least we don't need new anti-fouling until the end, so that's good news. And hopefully nothing seriously happens and that we can just stay in the water until the end of the trip. So everything seems nice and shiny. Well, there will be uh, polishing on the boats uh, the whole day. episode we are showing the boats to prospects and buyers and doing some trial sales with them. <laughs>